I'm addicted to licking my dog's ball. I've been working OT, trying to show you what it's like just to know me. Never since that day you approached me, I've been thinking about you and you only. And we just like to fuck, that's nothing else. Fuck. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Heaven. And in today's video, it's a little bit different than the content I have on my page. I'm trying to broaden my horizons by posting different types of content. So today I'm going to be reading Strangers confessions i'm scared because people in this world are crazy uh i don't even know what i'm getting myself into but i'm excited so without further ado let's get straight on into it i can't stop cheating on my girlfriend at the end of the day i love only like eight women only is crazy crazy oh i only love eight women that's crazy. I used to chew towels. I'm addicted to licking my dog's balls. So here's the story. When I was about three, I was laying and cuddling with my dog. And then I got the sudden urge to lick her booty cheek whole. And I like the taste. It tastes like Play-Doh. Salty and savory. Mmm. And since then, I have let my dog sleep in my bed with me so I could sneak little licks in its... You're sick. You're sick. Your, your parents need to take your dog. You're sick hid dead mice around the house when I moved out. I had a landlord that fucked me over. He was super sketchy, only took cash, came in unannounced, let my pets out of the oop, let my pets out of the house when I wasn't home, let raccoons in, raised the price illegally, wouldn't do repairs even when the sewage was leaking through the ceiling. Real prick. When I moved out, he was still looking for a tenant to replace me. I opened up the back of the toilet and tossed in some small frozen mice I had purchased. <laughs> it was the summer, so I'm sure it smelled absolutely atrocious when the mice started to break down. I mean, it sounded like he deserved it. It sounded like he deserved it. I used to steal money from my church. You know what? Only Lord can comment on that one. I'm not hey, I'm not saying anything. I mean, I've never done that. But only Lord can comment on that one. You're stealing from the Lord. I pretended to be a demon possessed to get out of being grounded. So eight years ago, my parents were both Christian and 12 year old me was still on the fence. One day they got into a fight with me over being on my phone too much and we're going to take it away because I was very addicted to my phone. So I banged my head on the table and told my parents a demon had possessed me. And now I have <laughs> and now I have seen the light and have converted to Christianity. They believed me and even played a worship song celebrating the occasion. Now I'm 20 and I regret being so manipulative. You banged your head on the table so they wouldn't take your phone. They need to put you in a mental psych institution. What? You might you might just be crazy. I wipe my butt on a towel while looking at someone's home. I wipe my butt on a towel while looking at someone's home. Okay. When I was little, I used to sniff people's behinds when they bent over. Like, how little? Like, two, three? Because I feel like it's acceptable if you were two or three. But if you were like seven, eight, nine, ten, that's nasty. And you knew better. I pulled the emergency alarm and blamed it on the quiet girl. 
when I was in kindergarten, I wanted to see what would happen if I opened the emergency window on the school bus. So one day, we were on the way to school, and I was sitting on the seats near the lever and thought there was my chance. So I pulled it, which was, to my surprise, opened the huge-ass window and set off a loud-ass alarm throughout the bus. Then the bus supervisor lady came to yell at me and the friend I was sitting beside. So I immediately blamed it on the girl sitting in the seat in front of me who was super quiet and never spoke to anyone, including the teachers. This happened like 17 years ago and I still feel bad about it. I took advantage of the girl who didn't talk and the adults believed me. <laughs> you should feel bad. That is so dead wrong. But at least... I mean, at least you guys were in kindergarten, so she couldn't have gotten that much trouble. But you should feel bad. I used to lie to all my friends just to see who would believe me. When I was in the third grade, I believe, I used to lie to all my friends. Not to seem cool, but to just to see who would believe me. It was funny to me, even though I knew it was fucked up. For example, I told all my friends I had a dead sister. I would bring up... <laughs> I would bring it up every time someone would mention death. I would also say that she acted like a zombie when she came back alive. Yes, I told my friends my sister was a zombie. I also used to say I made video games and that I had a YouTube channel even though I did not. And anyone could have looked up my fake user and seen that it wasn't me. Do I regret it? Yes. I was manipulative just for the fun of it. I was a strange child, strange, very strange, told your friends that your sister was a dead zombie. They're strange if they believed you. Fruit juice vampire. When I drink my favorite fruit juice, I imagine myself drinking from the jugular of some mythical endangered creature, like a unicorn. They're like, no, no, don't kill me. But the blood tastes so good, I can't control the thirst. So you like to imagine yourself drinking unicorn blood. It tastes so good. I thought I was strange. The last time I shat myself, I was 14 and walking home from the bus. I didn't even feel it coming. It was just explosive diarrhea. To make it worse, both of my parents had got home early and my dad's boss was over for a visit. Nobody outside of the four of us knows. I would have been so embarrassed. Like, I don't care if it's my mom, my dad, my sister. I would have been like, no, I would have been so embarrassed. I don't care who it was. Shot you. So, outside. I'm praying for you. And I'ma hope that you don't pass before your parents do, cause they will tell this story at your, you know what? I pooped in the public shower on a school camping trip. I had to pick it up with my hands and put it on my sock. And threw it in the bushes later. Everyone immediately was like, ooh, that smells like shit. Did someone shit? I was dead silent. I would be too. Well, I would, I would never be in that predicament. I scratched my butthole and then high five someone. They had no idea and totally deserved it. They still don't know. Stink palm. Am I childish? That's hilarious. What did he do to deserve getting a dookie hand touched? Like, what did he, like, he had to be a horrible person because why would you do that? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the confessions. I will definitely be making more videos like this. So if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. I don't know why I was putting that. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below. Love you guys.